regarding the Ukraine crisis and the Gaza conflict, do you think China is actively trying to help solve the problems or just watching from the sidelines? Definitely not just watching because you have put up, uh, let's say, framework uh, texts for how to handle it. And what I like about those is that they do not say what the solution should be because there's a very important mistake often made by America or NATO or whatever. We know what's best for you, so we snatch your conflict from you, and we think you should just live this way that we want you to live. The only sustainable peace you can have is the one all parties have contributed to and are willing to sign. It's not somebody else's suggestion. Therefore, dialogue, exploration of possible futures is the essential thing a mediator, a professional mediator, does neutrally. But he or she does not come in and say, I think you should do that and that and that. If they asked me to be a mediator, I would look at what would a positive future for Ukraine and Russia and the West be that could be sustainable in the long run and not end in a new conflict and warfare in 10 years from now. And in that sense, the, the, the proposals or the texts produced by your country are very important because they do not fall into the trap and saying, that is our solution. Whereas you set up some, some would say perhaps rather general principles, but the principles are important if you want to make peace, like the five principles of peaceful coexistence. There are lots of principles in conflict resolution that should be respected. So I think you've made a very good contribution to solving the problem. Mm -hmm.